First at 11, we are tracking plenty of action in the tropics. Three systems tonight, especially Tropical Depression 10. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer with the new advisory at 11 o'clock. Craig. Yep, the reason we're watching this one is because it's at that part of the ocean, the part of the Atlantic, where we watch all things that form out here. It's a very healthy looking Tropical Depression 10 tonight. Probably on the edge of becoming a tropical storm will likely be one by tomorrow morning if it continues to look as impressive as it is. 35 mile an hour winds moving to the west northwest at 10. Here's the future track forecast to become a tropical storm later tonight or tomorrow and then forecast to become a hurricane sometime on Friday as it moves generally to the west northwest a close approach to the north and northeast Caribbean there. There's the evening satellite loop and you can see lots and lots of blues in there with very cold cold cloud tops an indication of a strengthening system and computer models in pretty good agreement over the next several days and then by about the weekend they begin to diverge a bit. You can see a lot of them shifting off to the north. Now we know how these models go. One run they turn this way, the next one they come back and back and forth. So too early to make any definitive clues uh, from the models there, but at least we like that trend. Very dry air around the system tonight. That's the likely inhibiting development and upstream there's this upper level low. So it could strengthen a bit over the next few days, and then it has to cross through that. Besides that, there is also Umberto, which is a major hurricane tonight. Also now tropical depression, uh, Amelia or um, uh, Imelda, I should say, and that is on the Texas coast. I've got to look at our forecast. We're going through the names quickly. Jerry would be the next storm. I'll talk more about that coming up. All right, Craig, thank you very much.